Hey guys, what is happening? Creos Hale here again, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. This time we're playing Gamma 2.0, and we're actually just a couple of days away from the December 16th release date for the full version of the game, so can't wait for that. In this one, we're actually going to head over to the Soul System and visit Earth, so let's get on our way. So one of the first things I had to do before going on this journey was selling most of the things I had on the Eagle. That included the shields and the weapons, so I gotta be kinda careful when I'm uh, flying around. And the reason I did that was to increase my jump range. You gotta have uh, just about 10 light year jump range in order to make it to the, to the soul system, from where I was at at least. And the way I figured that out was I actually planned my route on a website called Commander's Club. And I'll actually put a uh, link to the website in the description for this video. Uh, but essentially it's uh, cmdr.club slash routes. And you go there and you actually put down your starting system. So where you start off at, for us it was Hogway, over here. And you put in your destination system, which was Seoul, for us. Once we did that, we uh, uh, put in the, the light year jump range on there. So I tried it with 8 and the 9, and it... it could not find a route. Finally, I tried it with 10 light years, and it did. That's why I went ahead and sold everything I had to sell on the Eagle. So yeah, you can plan your route out. It actually gives you step-by-step -step which system to go to. And just remember to refuel on the way, so you don't want to get, you know, jump into a system and not have a supply station near you and kind of screwed at that point, so be careful with that. Um, I couldn't even buy a fuel scoop that would have added too much mass, so I wasn't able to do that. Alright, let's see. I actually have Commander Club open on my phone right now, so I'm looking at that. We're in LHS 1857, so we have to go to Chang Ye. So let's find it on here. There it is. So like you see here, I can't go to G108-26 because I have excess mass, so it's, it needs more jump range. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We're heading here. Engage hyperdrive. So uh, with the Gamma 2.0, they've added a couple of different things, and uh, that includes uh, the Adder ship, which is from the original series. It's a general utility vessel. It's used for light trading, and it has more cargo space than the Sidewinder, so it could come in pretty handy. Uh, they've also added a lot of stability fixes, network initializations, and preventing crashes from happening happening on the CPU and the GPU and stuff like that, so uh, definitely a lot of different benefits. But not a whole lot of other changes, which I'm not complaining about, but still. Alright, so now we're in the Chang'e system and we're gonna head to Koop. There it is. And we'll make one more jump, and then we're going to stop for uh, fuel. So they also announced that for the December 16th release date, there is not going to be a character wipe at launch. So if you have an account, you have certain stats, ships, and money, you'll retain all of that, which is pretty nice. To be honest, I was kind of hoping for a character wipe just because... Uh, I'm kind of, uh, I sold a bunch of things and uh, mess around with the Eagle and, you know, I'm headed towards Seoul. But that's okay, too. It's, uh, it's nice that I'll be able to keep my stats and my money as well. Alright, let's stop off and, uh, well, the closest one would be Quimper Orbital. Or, how about a city? Let's go to Phillips City. Alright, we're on our way to Phillips City here. As you guys know, I uh, got the new rig, so this is um, so all of this footage is with the new rig, which is pretty nice. The visuals are looking pretty cool here in the Gamma 2.0. It's like we got a resource extraction site not too far from us here. 
So obviously if you do this, if you uh, embark on this type of journey and you sell your shields, just be careful, don't get into a lot of fights, <laughs> or any fights for that matter. And be careful when you're docking and flying around, you don't want to make any mistakes because you have no room for error without shields. I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, one of my viewers who actually uh, commented on my last Elite Dangerous video. If you look at my throttle um, to the right side of my uh, radar or uh, radar map there, you can see a blue region with light blue, dark blue on the sides. That's a uh, auto throttle, which uh, he told me about, and uh, this uh, viewer's name is Alike. So a uh, big shout out to him or her, A-L-I-K-E. Thanks a lot. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, it's good advice. It's kind of like an auto throttle. It it regulates your speed so you don't overshoot your target. Which I might do right now because I wasn't paying much attention to to the auto throttle, but <laughs> should be able to make it here. Uh, they've also changed the anim an animation when you're uh, leaving Super Cruise, which is pretty cool. Welcome to Phillips City. I also wanted to say thank you to uh, all you guys actually watching this video and also the folks who subscribed as well. Uh, if you do enjoy them, please subscribe, and uh, I, I do appreciate it. I was actually taking a look at my uh, s statistics on my YouTube page for the channel, and it was interesting to see uh, the different types of viewers that we have uh, from uh, different countries, different regions of the world. Um, and of course, uh, you know, I'm based out of the States here, so I have a lot of viewers from the States, and uh, second place is UK after that. And uh, it actually goes to bunch of different other places as well, including Germany, France, Australia, uh, New Zealand, uh, so that was pretty cool to see. Uh, it's, it's cool that uh, Elite Dangerous appeals to all different uh, types of people, and everybody watches these videos, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's back up. I'm being extra cautious just because I don't have shields here. So yeah, if you guys have a second, actually, if you're watching this video, uh, if you could leave in the comments where you're watching from, that would be awesome. It's, it would be even more interesting, and then uh, have some conversation on that. That would be pretty cool. Alright, that's all we're going to do here. We're actually going to refuel, and then head over to our next stop, which is going to be... L. All right, we're launching again. system. Oh yeah, we're still mass locked here, too close to the station. That's okay though. Try that again. Alright guys, so we got a couple more jumps left. I'm actually gonna um, pause the video here and we'll pick up when we're a little bit closer to the solar system and Earth. See in a little bit. Well guys, we're over here in Ashby City in Luton Star System, and I just wanted to show you the shipyard and some of the new ships as well. The Python is here, and uh, this one also by Zorgan Peterson. 
It's a sturdy craft uh, used by some smaller navies, and uh, they use it as a patrol cruiser. So that's that's pretty sweet. As you can see, it's 56 million credits. So expensive, but uh, it looks like a beast of a ship. Uh, Viper, we know. Type 6. And then here's the Adder, which was just recently added. Uh, no pun intended there. It's a light cargo ship. Uh, definitely more cargo space than the uh, than the Sidewinder. Um, and it looks a little bit cooler than the Hauler, so that's that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, and it's 87,000 credits, so more affordable. Uh, you know as well. Here's the Federal Dropship. It's uh, the Navy's workhorse, and it's used to carry spe special forces uh, soldiers to missions and stuff like that. So uh, again, a military ship, and 37 million credits, so um, pretty expensive. It's well armored, so could come in handy. Uh, what's really cool also is you can see it, it says here requires Federation rank of Ensign or higher. So you have to be in the Federation, have a rank and all that. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Well, all right, guys, we are in Lalande 21185, just one jump away from Seoul and Earth. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, the Commander's Club website actually had me going through Lutein Star to Procyon and down here to Sirius. Um, I actually don't have a permit for the Sirius system, and I'm not sure exactly how to get that, so I wasn't able to go by that route. Instead, I went into the Galaxy map, found Seoul, and actually had had the computer system plot a route, which I was able to do because I wasn't too far away. So it brought me up through this area and down. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And as you guys know, if you're further away from Seoul and you're kind of curious, you can go into System View. And you can actually look at the whole system map of uh, our, our solar system. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and of course Pluto, and Chiron as well. So you can do that, but anyway, let's get right to it and jump to the, to the solar system. Friendship drive charging. Here we are guys, jumping back home. This is our sun. Alright, well our first stop is definitely going to be Earth. So let's do it. I still find it really amazing that the, uh, the team at Frontier Developments has been able to map the entire Milky Way galaxy into Elite Dangerous. I think that's amazing. We're almost there, guys. Kind of puts everything into perspective, too, how small we really are. Welcome to Earth, guys. As always, the atmospheric effects are pretty damn cool. They 
did a really good job. There's Europe, there's Africa, Middle East to the right. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you would expect, um, well, we're not too far into the future in this game, but still, there might have been a shift in the continents as well, or, or just a little bit of a shift. Wow, there you guys have it, Earth. Let's see, where do we want to go? Capital ship. What's that about? I guess that's just a uh, capital ship orbiting Earth, kind of as a security thing, I would assume. the capital ship. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these not under attack, so it's pretty decent. I'm going for some details. That's pretty cool music there. Actually, going to try to a little bit further out and expand the view. Now that's cool, especially with Earth in the background. Check that out. That's awesome. Alright. Well, we'll take a little bit more of a trip. I think right now the default when you're near, near a capital ship is battle music, because that's what it sounds like. Uh, of course, there's no battle going on over here. Mass locked. There we go. Frameship drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. I figure we'll take a trip to the moon and then Mars, and then we'll dock at a space station. It's going to be pretty awesome once we can enter Earth's atmosphere. You know, I realize I've seen moons before in this game, in different solar systems. But man. Just to know this is our moon. As 
we head over here to the dark side of the moon. Hopefully you guys get that reference. Very cool. Alright guys, let's take a trip to Mars, and then we'll call it a day. Well, if it was only this easy in real life. Uh, so remember, Mars has actually been terraformed, so it won't look like the Mars that we know. Um, this should actually look similar to Earth since it is an Earth-like world. All right, let's slow down, slow down. And of course, we've overshot it. But here we are. Sweet. Now I could stop at Mars High, but I'm not going to do that. I want to stop at the Abraham Lincoln Space Station. So that's where we're going to go. Almost to Abraham Lincoln Space Station here. which is uh, orbiting Earth. One thing I must say for Gamma 2.0, which, which, is, which is really cool, is that it's much more stable. I've noticed even using Shadow Play to record, I'm not getting any slowdown in hyperdrive or supercruise or jumping onto space stations or near planets or approaching objects, anything like that. It's much more stable, so I'm really glad. So they have a couple of space stations around here, Abraham Lincoln, Gorbachev, um, orbiting the Earth, a couple other ones too. Li King Zhao. It's a nice view of the Earth. Very cool.
Well guys, that brings us to the end of my video over here in the Abraham Lincoln Space Station orbiting the Earth in the Sol system. It's pretty cool to find this place and find home, essentially. So we did some flying today, uh, did some planning of routes, and uh, we talked about Gamma 2.0, which we're playing now, and also about the upcoming release on the 16th of December. Pretty excited for that. As always, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have fun in Elite, and I'll see you next time.